how do we look out? We're here behind the bar at Modus. This is as good as it gets, Jacob. Yeah, welcome. This is uh, kind of the cockpit that you see that the guys will be cranking out two to 300 drinks a night. Um, Man, they're fired up. I know I walk in sometimes, it's packed. The bartenders are cranking away, having a blast. Absolutely. Um, I'm gonna kind of walk you through one of our favorite drinks here. Okay, so this is a drink you guys came up with, right? Correct, this is something uh, um, the bar staff and I came up with. It's a drink we call The Implication. Whoa, say that again, what's the name? The Implication, it implies a good time. <laughs> okay, anything else or that's it? Um, there's a TV show we watch called Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And uh, it's just a bit they run on the show and we la made ourselves laugh multiple times behind the bar and decided to come up with a drink. So what I love, you guys are so creative, you're not only coming up with the drinks, but the staff here having a blast coming up with names for the drinks, which are just as fun as the drinks themselves. Absolutely. A lot of the times the name comes first and then we work around the name. I like it. Yeah. Just, okay. Just to challenge ourselves. Okay. So what's going on with this drink? You're starting from scratch here, literally, as are all the drinks here. So you got a glass, you got ice. What happens next? Of course. So this is a bourbon and mezcal drink mixed with Italian Amaro's, which is kind of a selfish decision on our point because it's mm. really just like what we like to drink. Interesting. And we're kind of pushing it on you guys, but it works out great for everybody in the end. <laughs> it's a win-win, right? It is. All right, so here we go. We're firing it up. So what's this? This is Buffalo Trace. Every bourbon cocktail in our restaurant is going to be made with Buffalo Trace. Nice. Um, in our well, this is going to be our mezcal, kind of bringing this drink into a smokier direction, kind of spicing things up, staying away from your typical bourbon-based cocktails. And it really does have that smoky undertone, right? I love that. Absolutely, yeah. This is a very complex spirit for a cocktail. There's gonna be lots of things happening once you drink this all at the same time. Okay, like it. Complex. A cardamom-based Italian Amaro. Something you don't hear all the time, right? <laughs> Not at all, no. And this is an artichoke-based Italian Amaro. Don't hear that all the time either, right? <laughs> Nope, especially with bourbon and mezcal. <laughs> Sounds great. As you're making this, what kind of food would pair nicely with this? What's one of your favorites? Um, I'm gonna go with the duck wings on this one, just because the duck wings are such a bold flavor, kind of get things to the front, um, get things started, just a little snack. This is gonna get your appetite started as well with the Italian Amaro's in there. Um, and just the, the spirit forwardness of this cocktail should encourage some food as well. I think so, exactly. Man, I'm getting thirsty here looking at this thing. Almost ready to go, guys here on location at the bar at Modus, you can see these genuinely are craft cocktails. This doesn't get whipped up in 10 seconds. Jacob's been taking his time, got it almost ready to go, right? Absolutely. Two happy hours, so if you miss the early happy hour, don't sweat it, second happy hour. Starts at 10 p.m., lasts till midnight. Great prices too, by the way, and a happy hour menu that is to die for. To die for, we, uh, we encourage the snacks along with the food as well. Boom, there it is. Little garnish. Little garnish. Ready to enjoy. Okay, that's for you guys. On location here at Modus and Brett, get in here, check it out.